Hello everybody, this is William Amzalag and I want to welcome you in our 8th episode of Jeunesse Longevity TV. Jeunesse, we are redefining youth. If you have seen the previous episode, you should be aware of stem cells. If you haven't, I urge you to do so before looking at this one. Luminous serum has been formulated by Dr. Nathan Newman, a cosmetic surgeon and a dermatologist. He practiced in Beverly Hills in Los Angeles, and he is a pioneer in stem cell technology. He became very famous with his patented technology called stem cell lift. The idea of using stem cells extracted from the fat come while he was practicing liposuction on his patient. Having studied stem cells, he knew that abdominal fat one was one of the best reservoir of stem cells. And he was sorry to see all these precious cells being sucked and finishing in the garbage. The problem was that the equipment designed for liposuction was too aggressive for the stem cells which couldn't survive. He decided then to design a specific equipment and a specific protocol to gently extract the fat without destroying the stem cells. Once the fat is extracting manually with a syringe, he will then separate the fat from the stem cells by a process called centrifugation. And he will re-inject the stem cells within a sterile environment to the same patient from whom he extracted the fat. The protocol of reinjection is based on specific criteria and on this desired target. Dr. Newman became famous and attracted all the media to his clinic because the result was almost unbelievable. Also, <laughs> the fact to be in Beverly Hills, the mecca of the Hollywood stars, met him much more famous. So what that has to do with Jeunesse? We cannot use this protocol because it is a medical protocol. So where is the link? The link comes from Randy Ray, who became Dr. Newman patient. Randy was supposed to go on surgery for his knee but he wanted to try first stem cells injection, and this is why he frequently visited Dr. Newman's office. One day, while waiting in Nathan's office, he saw a small bottle on the desk and immediately thought that Dr. Newman was formulating a kind of stem cells, a kind of serum to add or to replace his protocol. Randy saw immediately this enormous opportunity and asked Dr. Newman if he can get the license to sell his stem cells. Nathan smiled and told him, there is no stem cells in this bottle because they are living cells and once you put them out of the environment or not in a proper nutritional gel, they will not survive. Randy was so disappointed that Nathan had some good news. There is no stem cells in this serum, but everything in this formula is produced by stem cells. What do you mean by produced by stem cells, say Randy? The serum is a byproduct of stem cells. It is full of cross factor, said Newman. 
Randy never heard about Gross Factor. He heard about Gross Orman, but Nathan told him that has nothing to do with Gross Factors. So what are they? How do they work? And what are the link with stem cells? To understand how the serum work, it is very important to understand the difference and the link between growth factors and stem cells. First, the difference. Growth factors are molecules and not living cells. Molecule can survive out of the body. They can be applied on the skin and they do their job on the skin. Not the stem cells, they cannot. Second, the link. Growth factors are signaling molecules. They are released by stem cells to give a signal to the skin cells. Each growth factor has a specific signal to send, which will lead to a specific job within the skin cells. For instance, the transforming growth factor beta will give a signal for stimulating collagen secretion. The keratinocyte growth factor will send a signal to stimulate epithelial cells growth. The interleukin will send a signal to reduce inflammation. All growth factors will act in synergy to repair, to replace, or regenerate skin cells when they apply to the skin. Now, let's go back to the luminous serum. After extracting stem cells from the fat, Dr. Newman is placing a very small quantity in a petri dish 